Come in. You sent for me, sir? Yeah. I have a special assignment I want to give you. Before you came with us, you were some sort of an actor, weren't you? Well, yes. Uh, I had some stage experience, mostly in stock companies. That's fine. Look at this. Oh, yeah, but I've given up the idea of acting. There's nothing in it but a lot of hard work and headaches. Anyway, that looks like another Tom show. No, this is no Tom show. It says no traveling. I have a hunch there's a great human interest story behind that innocent looking ad. See what you can dig up. You want me to interview this party? No, emphatically no. I want you to go down there and apply for a job. This assignment should be easy for you. You'd better stop at some hotel and register. Make it look good. You're allowed to be investigated if there's anything crooked behind this. <coughs> well, uh, expense money? <laughs> there. Stop the cashier's window on your way out. <laughs> That's not so hard to take. Thanks. I'm looking for a man named Dan Lucas. Do you know where I could find him? Why, no, I'm sorry, but I'm not very well acquainted here. Well, maybe those, uh, those men might be in here. Can you tell me where I can find Dan Lucas? Oh, so you won't talk. Shall not pass. Well, no hard feelings, old toppers. Not so good, eh? I guess I'll have to change my brand. <laughs> Gee, in this place I expect to see ghosts. I never believed in miracles, until now, and I'm beginning to weaken. Anyhow, so long as we both seem to be waiting for someone, or something, suppose we get acquainted. Oh, please don't joke about it. Oh, it's just too impressive for words. I see great activity, great excitement. No, it's not a stock speculation, neither is it a mine. I see great pools of black gold. I see strange structures. Oh, yes. It is oil to you, sir. Yes, your investment is safe. Your profit will be great. That is all, sir. Why, that's marvelous, Swami. It is an oil field I'm interested in. Now I can invest without fear. But I tell you, I saw it myself. Well, I hope I can believe my own eyes. <laughs> tell you, Walton, it's positively uncanny how that Hindu called the turn of my investments. Oil fields, eh? Where are they? If uh, they're really good, I, I might be interested myself. Well, it's a new field just being opened up. And it looks great. 
But I'm on my word of honor not to tip it off until we have it all sewed up on us. Well, you might let a friend in on the ground floor for a little, anyhow. Come on, Claire. Well, goodbye. Oh, not goodbye. Won't you let me see you again? Well, we're staying at the St. Regis Hotel. Come on, Claire. Well, what can I do for you? Well, with your kind permission, sir, I would hold converse with one Dan Luke's. Fresh guy, eh? No, my lord. An actor. I answered this ad and was sent over here. Oh. Okay. Follow me. Boy, that's the longest time I ever did stand his attention. Sure who's stiffing you up, don't it? Sure do. The boss man almost caught me that cigarette. You know my back's darn near broke. Possibly we can get the taxi cab on the corner. It's a pleasant afternoon. Let's walk. I want to think this amazing thing over. Well, all right. Cigarette makeup. I may require you to pose as many men for the benefit of mourning relatives. You have to make up from photographs such as these. That'll be easy. Well, you seem to have the qualifications all right. But can you be discreet? Can you be trusted? I promise to be loyal and faithful to the people I work for. Where are you staying? Uh, at the St. Regis Hotel. St. Regis? Well, isn't that pretty sporty for an actor out of work? <laughs> well, you see, I was a stranger here and I just happened to go there. Well, check out and come over here. You'll sleep and eat here. Mornings and Sundays off. Luke's will explain you your duties. Oh, yes, you might want some money. Here's your first week's pay in advance. Seventy-five a week. Say, will you watch where you're going? Pardon me, beautiful. Oh, huh. fresh guy, huh? No, beautiful. An actor. Hey, listen, you murder. I need some money, and I gotta have an advance. Well, you're not gonna get it, Nate. You're drinking too much. You've got a big deal in sight, and I want you to stay sober. Your work was pretty bad today. Well, I can't work if I'm all nervous and upset, can I? Well, you're gonna work downstairs tomorrow. You're gonna do the grandmother gag. Ada will be in the seance. So you stay sober and look the part. You know, for two cents, I'd quit you cold. Oh, no, you wouldn't. You know you're starved. Now, come on. Be good. In a little while, we'll blow this down, and then you can have all the food you want. And say, lay off this new boy. He's going to be useful. Well, you tell the fresh mutt to lay off me. Mr. 
Johnson. Calling Mr. Johnson. I think we'd better go over to the Princess Karami's seance tomorrow and uh, ask that Swami some more questions. That's a splendid idea, Walton. Hello, Mr. Hunter. I've been looking for you. I beg your pardon. How about that stock transaction? But my dear sir, I'm not interested in any stock deal today. But you told me yesterday it was hot. I tell you, I'm not interested in stocks. If you'll excuse me, Mr. Walton, I'll retire to my room. I have some correspondence to attend to. Certainly, Mr. Hunter. But, Mr. Hunter, I... Did you want to broadcast our deal to the whole world? It must be quiet to be successful. So don't talk about it to anyone. Seven two nine eight six. Hello? Yes, Francis. Say, what about that stock deal with Browning? Well, he butted in just now, and I was talking in the lobby with Walton, and he pretty near spilled the beans. Never mind him, he's small fry. This fellow Walton is the big game. I guess he knows more about stocks than we do. I had to take a chance in the oil wells. But I don't know anything about oil wells. Well, never mind that. Just get some maps and study up. And don't make any mistakes. This should be a fat and easy touch. Oh. All right. Shoot it off. That's four. Well, shake them up now. Shake the dice up. Shake the dice up. That's all I want you to do. Just shake them up. That's four, and I know it. Pick it up. You win. Don't you think I know it? Mm. You sure is lucky, big boy. Boy, you sure put temptation my way the other day. You throw it right in my mouth. You sure must have put the evil eye on me. I ain't been able to make a pass even. Well, better luck like next time, big boy. Come on, let's go to work for the big boy. Well, man, let's go then. Oh, you Gee, my nerves are all shot. I need a drink. You better keep sober, dearie, or the saps will get wise that grandmother's just a drunken fake. Then goodbye, sucker money. Oh, shut up, Angel Face. Ladies, please. Oh, you mind your own business. You don't. You don't. Can the noise. Keep quiet. Mame, the grandmother gag for you today. Okay, Luke. Ada, you'll work upstairs. And I want you all to keep on your toes. We're going to make the biggest cleanup we ever made. And then we'll blow this dead bird and back to Chicago for a swell vacation. Before we move on again. Young fella, you make good with us. We'll cut you in on the softest racket you ever saw. Gee, that'll be swell. Jackson, who played Henry, got married and quit. But what do you think about... Oh, well, you're enough like him. So those half-wits out front will never know the difference. Come along with me, and I'll show you your stunt. Now, when we're ready, you stand exactly like this. Don't move. Just look dumb and soulful. Harry will give you your cue. You come on right after Grandmother. Now, watch your step. You better turn him more sideways. Some sucker may have been up there before. Step on it, Mame. You're up first, and you better be good today. No, but I'm all shaky, Luke. I gotta have a drink. The boss says nicks on the booze. 
Get busy. Let me help you, beautiful. Thanks, Bushy. You're not such a bad guy. I'm the greatest guy you know, beautiful. Oh, you do need a bracer. Just about to go to pieces. Careful. Thanks. You are a great guy, Bushy. Look, Dad. Look, there's the Swami now. Yes, uh, he's an interesting character, isn't he? Yes. The most interesting people I ever knew in my life. My friend, we have with us today three people who are hesitating on the verge of becoming converts to the teachings of the great, the all-powerful, the beneficent God Vishnu, and the spiritual leadership of the divine seeress, Princess Karan. To convince these people that the Princess Karani can not only divine the future, but that will can recall the events of the past, I shall have a materialize upon the sacred onyx, an event from their lives, an event so recent that it is still fresh in their minds. Princess Karami. Oh, mighty Vishnu, ruler of the universe, Master of human destinies, give us a sign. Reveal to these dearly beloved the sign that must satisfy their thirsting souls. O oh, Vishnu, with thy invincible power, reveal to their eyes the scenes of yesterday, past and gone, so far as this world is concerned, but inscribed forever upon the records of eternity. Why, it's us. That is uncanny. Oh, I'm afraid. I'm afraid. Quiet, child. Have no fear. Ah, the thought wave is broken. that? Huh. Well, that's moving pictures of the saps. They take them from a van and show them on the magic onyx to scare the suckers. It works great, too. And Princess Karami, who is she? Well, the princess of Chicago Kate. Used to be a hooch dancer at the carnival. She's a good egg. But you know, lately she's been acting awful strange. 
And it gives me the creeps. This you murder guy that... You murder? Yes, this swami you murder. She's working this racket with this poison. You know what I mean? Cold blooded. I'm afraid of him. He'd kill you for a nickel if you caught you double crossing him. And what were you beautiful? An opera singer? Gee, that's funny, Jimmy. You know, I... I really did sing once. And if it hadn't been for... Oh, well, what of it? But what is the gag, really? Well, contributions pay expenses. But uh, they play around until they find some rich sap, quite often a woman. And they shake them down plenty, and we leave town. And open up someplace else. Oil fields, eh? Where are they? If they're really good, I might be interested myself. Come on, Mame. You're up in a minute. Okay, Hag. Come up. You're on deck, Jimmy. All right. have I told my people not to talk during my manifestation. It disturbs the Princess Karami. It breaks the contact with the spirit. The Princess will now endeavor to bring back again the lost soldier, whose eternal quest forever haunts her. Henry, Henry. Poor lost soldier, come back from your endless quest. Come back to us. It is I, Princess Karami, who call you in the name of the mighty Vishnu. Tell you, Mr. Walton, we'll have to act quickly if I want to get you in on the ground floor. Now, the minute the news of this new oil field gets out, the stock will skyrocket so fast you can't possibly buy it. I had an awful job convincing the directors I would let you in at all. Yes, I know, Mr. Hunter, and I'm sold on the idea, but I promised my daughter Claire that I'd not invest for at least a week. But surely your daughter doesn't doubt the readings of the Swami and the Princess Karami. No. For some reason, she doesn't wish me to go ahead with it right now, and I promised her that I wouldn't. However, if uh, everything is all right in a week's time, I'll go in for 20000 Well, I'll try and hold the deal open for you, Mr. Walton, because I like it. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Walton. Good day, sir. Good day, Mr. Walton. I can explain everything, Claire, in time. 
Won't you believe in me? How can you ask me to believe in you? When I saw you helping those fakers to prey on the sorrows and heartaches of those poor and trusting people. Oh, Jimmy, I never want to see you again. What are you going to do? I'm going to tell my father all about this gang of cheap swindlers. Claire, you mustn't do that. Well, you'd spoil everything I'm trying to do. And probably prevent you from pleasing my own father. If you're going to be stubborn about it, I suppose I'll have to tell you. I'm not really an actor at all. The corner on the sun. I'm trying to get enough on these grafters to send them to the penitentiary. In just another day or so, I'll have it. Oh, Jimmy, I didn't understand. I'm so glad. Must move fast. We'll get the money and make a getaway before they jump us. We put this reporter on the spot, huh? Not yet. We might raid us and find his body. We'll take him for a ride in the van and drop him on the roadside when we leave. Now listen, all of you, carefully. And remember, if anyone makes a slip, it'll be just too bad for him. Seven twenty, please. Out, boys. There'll be no game today. What do you mean, no game? The seance is off. I just saw the swami and he's in a terrible rage. Something's gone wrong somewhere. Well, Mr. Lukes. No seance today, Mr. Lukes? No. There'll be no seance today. But you, you stay in this room until further notice. Oh, I can't do that, Mr. Lukes. I got a date. Well, you're not going to keep that date. You'll stay right here. The boss might want a word with you later. Freshie, what's the matter? Are these all at you? Looks like it, doesn't it, beautiful? Well, I'll be seeing you. Is this? Am I in jail? Exactly that. One might even say the death house of a cave. You've written your last story, Mr. Reporter. You thought you fooled me, but I was wise to you from the start. All right. What are you going to do about it? I have my own way of dealing with double crosses. Loyal and faithful to your employers, eh? Yes. Loyal to my employers. One that put me on this job. Lady, cheers for me. Where is my father? He's resting in the next room. We mustn't disturb him. But what can be wrong with him? Calm yourself. He's in no immediate danger. Come, sit down while we wait. Miss Walt, you do not really believe in the supernatural, do you? Well, hardly. Well, while we're waiting for your father, why don't we try a little interesting experiment that might impress you? Note the point of light in this book. Look at it. Look at it very intently. Concentrate. It grows. It dazzles you. The 
begins to make you feel very sleepy. You are sleepy. Very sleepy. You begin to fall asleep. You are asleep, and I command you, you will awake. You will do my bidding. You will do nothing else, know nothing else, unless I give you permission. A perfect subject, great responsibility, great magnetism, and much charm. Well, I'm very happy to do that for you. Certainly. Thank you. Are you sure she didn't leave you any message? There's nothing here for you, Mr. Walton. I only come on duty at 6 o'clock, but I haven't seen her at all. Miss Walton got a note about 5 this afternoon and left in a hurry, sir. I can't understand it. She never goes out without telling me. Here's your grub. Thanks, beautiful. Say, don't get gay with me, fresh guy. If I had my way, you wouldn't eat. Say, ma'am, I'm glad you hate that guy. Take some of the job off of my hands. <laughs> it's a pleasure. I'm sorry, Mr. Walton, but the Swami has retired. But I must see the Swami and the Princess. They may be able to help me in my terrible trouble. Well, Mr. Walton, wait here. I'll talk to the Swami and see what can be done.
I have learned of your trouble, Mr. Walton. Princess Karami has consented to aid you. I am very grateful. Come. Master of human destiny, thou who seest all, knoweth all, revealeth all. Reveal to this anxious father the fate of his missing daughter. More precious to him than gold, even more precious than all the wealth he has hoarded. Almighty Vishnu, give us a sign. It is us, the Princess Karami, who pleads. She is princess. Where is she? Try, Princess Karami. Try to tell us where she is. I see a number. Four, nine, seven, three. I see a word. D A M S The clock The hand point Twelve What will I do? Vishnu has spoken through his instrument. His message is clear. Go to 4973 Adams Street at 12 tonight. There you will get news from your daughter. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Thank you. That'll be all for now, boys. Okay, boys. Come on, Buck. Well, Mr. Reporter, how did you enjoy this show? Hypnotist. What are you going to do with her? She's very beautiful. And very desirable. Only six 
6 o'clock. It's the longest night I ever spent in all my life. I feel like I was sitting on a volcano. Perhaps you are. We could just get the money and lamb out of here. Oh, Data, wait. I'll go nuts. Well, I suggest for you to go to bed. We have to give them time to get the money. We can't take it until night. Well, this will be one day to remember. Yes. For a number of people. Howdy, Mr. Jimmy. The boss man said y'all have to stay in today. Hey, listen. Another break like that? I'll tie you up again. The ace of spades. The death card. Now yes. stop that rot. My nerves are all on edge. Death. Hmm. Oh, beautiful. Death isn't so terrible if you meet it with a smile. I wonder. I see money. Much money. And a long journey for a dark man and a blonde woman. And I see death. For a young man, a jack of hearts, who seems to be a, a regular guy. Hmm, your nerves aren't so good, are they, Dan? Nah. Get to a phone. Call Mr. Meehan. With me, 7,000. Just say, Jimmy, urgent. But they won't let me out, Freshie. What's he waiting for? Why doesn't he do what he's going to do? Why prolong the agony? Yeah. Your nerves aren't so good either, are they, Mr. Reporter? It's zero hour, ten o'clock. Enjoy yourself while you can. Yeah. The ace of spades. With a jack of hearts. Death. A ride in the dark for the jack of hearts. And You're death! crazy witch! Oh, but Dan, my nerves are all shot. Oh, if I could only get a drink. Well, go and get a drink, but don't let the boss see you. And hurry back. Okay, I'll hurry back. Okay, Buck. Let her through. Right, oh. Why, Mr. Walton? You look worried. Is there anything wrong? I'm in I'm in terrible trouble, Hunter. Uh, no, I No, I can't discuss it with anyone. Uh, not even with you. Why don't you go to the police? Police? Uh, no, I, I can't do that. Uh, I I can't talk about it. Oh, cheer up. It may not be as bad as you think. And if I can be of any help to you, just let me know. Thank you. Thank you. The man's been gone two hours. Say, what is this, a gag? Listen, I've been kidded by experts. Where do you get that Jimmy Urgent stuff? Nick Stain, you can't kid me.
Jimmy Urgent. Jimmy Urgent. Madison 65783. Mr. Mann, please. Mr. Mann? I'm sorry to bother you, but some nut called up and left a message for you. And it had me worried. Yeah. It was just, uh, tell Mr. Meehan, Jimmy Urgent. What? Oh, about an hour ago. Huh? What, sir? I never knew Mr. Meehan could swear like that. It's almost 10 o'clock. We'll soon know. Is everything arranged? Yes, Master. Adrian and Harry got away on the afternoon train. Buck and Joe will attend to the reporter, as you ordered. You go with the van and see there is no slip. Then make your getaway. I'll take the princess and the girl and meet Hunter on the spot. Then we'll all meet as planned. We'll go as soon as Hunter calls. Well, what about Mame and the black boys? The Nubians know nothing. I'll take care of Mame. You better go downstairs. My need of you is past. I must have new blood. Beauty. You are faded and tired. And you deserve a rest. Well, I'm going to give it to you a long, long rest. Drink. Can't let y'all in, mister. The prince has done retire. No, boss. Ain't no see Hanson tonight. Well, we'll just stick around. Maybe there will be a seance. on the hill. What a joint. Don't overlook anything, boys. Looks like they flew the coop. Cross her, well, I'll show you. <laughs> oh, payment in full for services rendered. This isn't so terrible, Jimmy. If you meet it with a smile. 
Yeah, hold his arms together. Yeah. We'll put this around him. All right. Yeah, boy, Buck. Yeah. Yeah. Get going and move fast. Use the alley through to the other street. Come on, get going. I guess the boys were right. Seems to be no one here. Not a soul, Chief. Hmm. Wait a minute, boys. I have found something. What do you think of that? A trap door, huh? I get the gag. Everything down below is reflected on this black glass. Come on, get that car. Step on it. Get going. Take it easy, boy. We just want to head him off. money and you you're gonna lose him ah we know where he's going all right but we don't want him to think he's being chased can't tell what he might do in Here, Swami. Is it all there? Yes, Master. Good, honey. Where are we going? We? Where I am going, I'll have no further use for you. Love it! Caught with the goods, Mr. Swami. No one ever caught your murder with the goods. Stop or I...
Oh, Claire. Claire. Yes, Jimmy. After you told me about the oil well scheme, I had detectives shadowing Mr. Walton all the time. Yes, and we caught Hunter when he received the money and made him talk. And he talked plenty, too. So they were able to beat the Swami to the hill. Why didn't you raid the place? I wanted to catch him with the ransom money right in his hands so that he couldn't squirm out through any legal technicalities. I never imagined the man was so desperate. He must have gone quite mad at the finish. Yes. If it hadn't been for poor old Beautiful, it might have been just too bad for me. And for Claire. Well, anyway, we uncovered a real human interest story, didn't we? Yeah. You'll make a great newspaper man yet, my boy. Nonsense, man. He'll make a fine, small-town banker. What? Yeah. Well, you see, Mr. Meehan, these big cities are pretty tough. I think I'll be safer with Claire. In Oshkosh? In Oshkosh. In Oshkosh? Yes, uh, Oshkosh. <laughs> <laughs>